I am Mr. Bell, 8th grade science teacher at Cane Creek Middle School. How do you make class fun? Um, try to make it engaging, hands-on, and like to make a lot of noise. This is going into my 12th year of teaching. The changes I've seen over the years, um, I feel like there's a lot more academic responsibility for students, um, a lot more responsibility for teachers. I like Mr. Bell's class because it's like we are all like working, it's like hands-on activities and stuff, uh, cool like projects and stuff. My name is Caitlin Yarbrough um, and I teach at Cane Creek Middle School and I've been here for three years. I teach eighth grade science. What I like about teaching with um, Mr. Bell is that he has such a positive kind of um, energy and that's really important and also we're very um, we're both very sociable people so us collaborate collaborating together is equally important to both of us. The Scotland flag came from my sister when she was overseas and she traveled to Scotland but the reason she traveled to Scotland is because um, part of my family still lives there. My dad came over when he was 16 on a green card and I have an aunt, an uncle, two cousins that still live there and one's actually moved to Australia. I went to Appalachian State University. I'm not really sure that it completely prepared me for teaching, but I feel like it was a good learning experience and it taught me how to work with others very well. I majored in recreation management with a concentration in outdoor experiential education. Hi, I'm Julie Dillingham. I am the ISS teacher and a tennis coach here at King Creek Middle School. I chose to coach tennis because there was a need for it. They knew I had some experience with it in the past, so they asked me to take her place. The season has been awesome. My kids are great. We are 3-0, and hoping to be 4-0 and after tonight. And I couldn't ask for a better group of kids. So, what's your name? Susanna. I practice for about an hour and a half each day. The challenge match, how does, how does that work? <laughs> Um, you challenge another player, or you be, you are challenged, and that determines your rank. Why do you like tennis? I like tennis because um, it really gets you moving, and it's also really fun with all the different shots and variations. Do you play tennis outside of school? Yes, I do. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, no, thank you. The challenge of coaching tennis would be you never know what you're going to get at each match. You just kind of go into it blindly, hoping that your tennis players show up and play to their best of their ability and uh, win and be good sports through it all and be successful together as a team. And is there anything else you'd like to add? I just want to say go Hurricanes. What's your name? Harlan. And and how's, your, how's your lunch? My lunch has been pretty good so far. Not school today so far. School has been pretty cool. So, how much do you practice tennis? We practice on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but not on Friday for an hour. So, the challenge match, how does that work? So, either some days, like on Monday, I think we do evens versus odds to see who will move up or move down, and then we do odds versus evens. So, why do you like tennis? I like tennis because it's a fun sport to play. And do you play tennis outside of school? I play tennis outside of school sometimes. There are clinics at the racket club that I like to pitch. And uh, is there anything else you'd like to add? My name is Mari, a starting running back for Cane Creek Middle School. I'm Carter, I'm a starting quarterback. On offense, we run a spread offense, try to just keep things moving fast. On defense, we run a balanced defense and just blitz and pass coverage most of the time. In spread, we have our two wide receivers on each side and uh, Mark in the backfield with me. Uh, one of our best plays is 40 dive, where it's just a handoff to Mark. And um, one of our other good ones is a bubble pass to the uh, wide out on the left. What are your goals for this season? Win as many games as possible and beat Valley. Yeah. Yeah. 
I play football because I've been playing it ever since I was a little kid, and I just think it's um, a good exercise. It's good exercise to play, and it's just fun to play, and it's just a good hobby to have. Um, I've been playing it ever since I was little as well. Um, it's just fun and just being able to run through people. It's pretty, run through people's fun. Space. <laughs> <laughs> what does Coach Anderson bring to the team? He brings a lot of things. One of the main things is he's a proven winner. He was very successful on the Reynolds High School football team and was on the state championship team. And he brings that to the Cane Creek. We motivate our guys by talking about winning uh, and by talking about being accountable to each other and um, achieving good things for the person beside you that's working as hard as you are. Uh, the team is working very hard this season. Um, they put a lot of effort into this football season, uh, starting back uh, before the school year even started. And, uh Heck yes, i probably beat everybody in the school with the Pokemon that I have. I got Pikachu, I got Squirtle. <laughs> I got that pterodactyl thing that goes like, yeah, yeah. Um, oh my gosh, yes, okay. Uh, okay. So right now we found out who Charles is. Uh, and then Charles is dead. Um, and they're trying to figure out who the next A is. Two, three, four, zero. Healthy because uh, the water was had a good turbidity. Um, well, we're still looking at our data, but as far as our probe kind of unit and what the pH is, it's almost about neutral. Our turbidity is low, so the clarity of water is good. So, so far, so good. Well, I think it really brings the curriculum to life, really. We can, you know, talk all day about water quality standards, but when it's talking about and you're actually in the creek and um, it's within the community that you live in um, and you're using the same type of equipment that real scientists use, you really um, feel apart more than what you would if you were just in a book. Um, it helped me just learn more about what we were learning in class, so I got a better understanding. Just to know about how we all um, affect our water quality, like everything that we do, and just kind of brightens or, you know, widens the scope of things on, you know, thinking about what you're doing before you do them. Creek Week's awesome. I'm excited that this year we had really good weather and um, I think everyone enjoyed it. Um, it was fun. Very fun. Mitch Weimer. Mitch Weimer, come here to freestyle. Yeah, I was in my shack, laying on my back, okay. trying to put a knapsack okay. on the rack. Okay. Quinn whack, a Big Mac attack, so I jumped in my black Cadillac. Called Jack, come and meet me at the railroad tracks. We went to McDonald's where I saw Jack. I said, yo, 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 give me two Big Macs. He said, no. <laughs>